So guys, the question that we are going to solve today is this: Sub Bare Sum equals K. And this question has been asked in so many companies. And today we are going to learn two different approaches for this question. So make sure to watch it till the end and save this reel right away for quick revision. So we are given an array of integer nums and an integer k. And our task is to count the total number of sub arrays present in this array that has a sum equals to k. So in this case, these two will be having a sum equals to two, and these two will also be having a sum equals to two. So in this case, the output is going to be two. So the first approach is going to be the extreme brute force approach, where we will be generating all the possible sub arrays, and for each sub array, we will be calculating its sum, and we will check. That if the sum is equals to k, we will increase the counter, right? So the same thing we are doing here in the code. We have two loops here for generating all the possible sub arrays, and for each sub array, we are calculating its sum and then checking it and then comparing it with k. If it is equal, we are increasing the counter, and at the end, we will simply return the count. Now let's see the second approach. If this is the array, right? And I need to find all those sub arrays that has a sum equals to k. Okay. For example, this is the sub array that has a sum equals to k, and the entire sum is t. So What this is going to be? This is going to be t minus k, right? Basic maths. So the same concept we have to apply here in this approach. This is the array that is given to us, and I need to find all those sub arrays that has a sum equal to three. So what I'm going to do? I will be traversing the array, and I will be calculating the prefix sum. And while calculating the prefix sum, I will check is there any sub array that has a sum equal to prefix sum minus k? If this is the sub array that I have already seen before, it means if this is present, then there must be a sub array. That has a value equals to k. This is also gonna be present because if t minus k is present, then k is also going to be present, right? So initially the hash map is empty, so I will store zero comma one. Now I am here. Prefix sum is one. Okay, I will check one minus three equals to minus two. Is there any sub array that I have already seen that has a value equals to minus two present in this hash map? No, it's not. So what I am gonna do? I will simply store this value. I will simply store my prefix sum, right? Now I will move ahead. Prefix sum will become three. Three minus three, it will become zero. Is there any sub array that has a sum equals to zero present in this hash map? Yes, it is. How many times this array was present? This was present only one time. So my count will increase to one. Right now, I will store this three to my hash map. Now I will move ahead. The prefix sum will become six. I will check. Is there any sub array that has a sum equals to three present in this hash map that I have already seen? So there was a sub array that has a sum equals to three that was present. So if this was present, I will increase the counter by the number of time it appears. So now my counter will be. So the same thing we have done here in the code. What we have done, we have a hash map here. We have initially stored zero comma one in the hash map. We are traversing the array, and while traversing, we are calculating the prefix sum, and we are checking if there is any sub array present in the hash map that has a value equals to prefix sum minus k. If this is present, then what I am going to do? I will just increase the counter by the number of times that sub array was present. And if this was not present, what I am going to do? I will just simply put that prefix sum in my hash map, and at the end, we will simply return the count. So I hope you got the logic now make sure to take a screenshot of this code and try to do dry run by your own